Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning. Happy Friday. It is the 19th day of January. Uh, time as I make this is 4.18 a.m. Ground behind me is wet. Uh, the front that brought the showers to the state last night. And by the way, this location here in East Montgomery had 12 hundredths of an inch. Has now made it through the area into southeast Alabama. What you may or may not hear behind me is the, uh, the winds that are rustling uh, behind this fresh supply of Arctic air, which is engulfing the state of Alabama today. A brand new supply, so today's high temperature will only be this afternoon in the mid-40s. But as you've heard me say so many times before, that northwest wind at 11 to 22 miles per hour will make it seem colder than it is and will add a bite to the air. So that'll be a, a big deal. So, you know, dress in layers. We're almost getting used to this now if you can get used to Arctic air. I don't know about that. We have a hard freeze warning in effect across the area again tonight with temperatures falling to the upper teens. I think wind chill uh, figures tomorrow morning could be anywhere from 8 to 13, you know, by dawn tomorrow morning on Saturday. Saturday's high temperature only in the 30s. Yes, we have a mostly sunny weekend, but uh, the, the temperatures will continue frigid. We're back in the teens tomorrow night. I've got us around 16 here in central Alabama in the river region. Uh, you may be colder in your location, wherever you are here. Uh, some of the uh, those colder spots may get a low, low you know, into the uh, low to mid teens, I think, tomorrow morning. Uh, that No, that would be, I beg your pardon, that would be Sunday morning right around dawn. And then Sunday's high temperature only in the middle 40s. But as you've been hearing me say, there's going to be a big turnaround next week. I mean, just a huge flip, just turning the switch in a different direction here. We're talking about a January thaw with a big mound of high pressure in the upper atmosphere building over the east and the southeastern U.S., promoting warmer temperatures. I think we're in the 60s by Tuesday, maybe near 70 on Wednesday, and then into the lower 70s as we get into Thursday and Friday. So that sounds great, right? But the trade-off, it would be daily showers and thunderstorms with a parade of disturbances moving through the area. Uh, will any of them produce uh, strong to severe storms? Eh, maybe. We, I don't see anything definitive at the moment, but uh, as we get closer and closer to that situation, um, we may see uh, some severe weather outlooks coming out. We'll see how that works. So again, warmer temperatures is a, is a good thing, but then you have the, the, the threat of strong to severe storms at times. That's the way it works this time of the year. Otherwise, today everything is normal, including live on the radio 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 WACV. There will be another update for you tomorrow morning called the Weekend Update, and that'll be online well before dawn. And your forecast whenever you want it across the dial on the Blue Water family of stations every single day of the year. That's eight radio stations. I hope you have a nice weekend. Uh, you know, uh, enjoy the cold weather and uh, look forward to some warmer temperatures next week. We'll be able to shed some of these uh, layers of clothe clothing and uh, I'll see you later. Rich Thomas Weather.